Hello, my name is Gonzalo Dos Santos. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and this is my final project for CS50. Traden is a cryptocurrency trading simulation platform that allows you to learn to trade cryptocurrencies without risking capital. The application builds on the same idea as CS50 Finance, adding some features and functionalities in addition to the differences inherent to cryptocurrencies in relation to stocks. Upon entering, we see a landing page with some branding where we can see more information about the web. If we click on market prices, we can see a list with the 100 cryptocurrencies that can be traded on the platform. We do not need to be logged in to access this page, but if we want to go to the buying and selling section in the navigation bar, the platform will automatically redirect us to the login page, where we are offered to create an account in case we do not have one already. Once we complete the information required to register, we are redirected to the dashboard page, where now we can see a welcome message that among other things tell us that we have $10,000 to operate. We are also advised that we can click on the logos of the cryptocurrencies in the dashboard to access real-time charts and extra information. The info pages are dynamically generated, taking as argument the symbols of the currencies. The charts are provided by TradingView. All other information in the page comes from the CoinMarketCap API and is updated every minute. Being logged in, we can now access to the buy and sell function. From the navigation bar, we access an interactive form. If we enter, for example, a currency that we want to buy, when specifying the amount, the form automatically shows us the amount to pay, which is updated according to variations in the input. Once submitted, we are redirected to our wallet, to which we can also access at any time from the drop-down menu of our account, and in which we can see all of our currencies and an equivalent in dollars of total. Of course, the platform rejects operations that are not valid. Once we have acquired a currency, we can select it as a means of payment to make a purchase, as well as sell it in exchange for others. This allows for redundant buy and sell operations, but it is part of the nature of currency trading. When we pay with or sell in exchange for a currency other than the dollar, we are also shown the equivalent in dollars. Finally, we can check our transaction history, in which the details of our operations are recorded along with their precise date and time. And if we want, we can modify our account data, change username, update password, or add more dollars to our funds. My name is Gonzalo, and this was trading.